my loves. Are you struggling to manage a busy lifestyle and eat and feed your family right? Meal planning might be the answer. You'll find it easier to eat healthy, save money, and get tasty meals to the table faster with menu or meal planning. You also make fewer trips to the grocery store and you make use of all the ingredients in your pantry and fridge. Most importantly for some, they are never left wondering what to cook for the next meal. Today's topic, as you might have guessed, is meal planning. Meal planning is the process of deciding what you will eat for each meal, including main dishes, side dishes and desserts for a fixed period of time. Meal planning principles include balance, nutritional quality, aesthetics based on color, texture and flavors. This may seem simple enough, but daily activities and varying family schedules and dietary preferences may complicate the menu planning process. Today, I'm going to simplify the process by breaking it into steps. This meal plan is so simple that you can start incorporating it into your weekly routine immediately. Maybe you want to stop here and find out which type of planner you are. Okay, great. So now you know how you roll. Since different people are using different styles, there is definitely something good in each. So I have taken all these styles and created one style that will work for everyone. You probably know how complicating cooking for my family can be, and this actually works for us. I'm going to take you through my week of how I use this system. I need to do my shopping. I will be prepping and cooking a few of these meals on this video. I start with a grocery list. Have it in a place where others can add to it. We use a shared note on our iPhones for this purpose, but you can also have a written list. To make it easier, have headers like vegetables, meats, bread, etc. This will make it more convenient. By having headers, you won't be duplicating things in a long list and it is also so much easier for shopping purposes. Everything you need should be added to this list. Start the menu plan with a few ideas from your usual repertoire. If you're feeling a little more adventurous, you can also look online or you can always refer to your meal binder for this. A meal binder contains a list of dishes you and your family enjoy with the option of adding recipes if needed. Next, add on to the list by asking for recommendations. Get everyone to suggest dishes that they are keen on. This can be usuals or new choices. This keeps everyone happy and it prevents your plan from being static and boring. Once you have the choices, you can fill in the gaps. Start with what you have on hand. Look out for ingredients used in the meals that you have planned as well. Once you have the choices, you can fill in the gaps. Look through your pantry and your fridge and make a list of other potential dishes sitting right there. If you need to top up any ingredients, that goes into the grocery list too. Now you are ready to start creating your plan for the week. You have everyone's choices and you have considered everything you have on hand. Make sure you write these down. I have this sheet, which has ideas from the planner already included. From this point, build on all the information you have gathered. For a quick meal plan on a busy week, you might want to try the cyclic method, which is set out by days of the week. There is Meatless Monday, Taco Tuesday, Whatever Wednesday, Old Favorite Throwback Thursday, Friday, F-R-Y, Friday, and Stir Fry Saturday. Sunday can be for takeout or dining out. You don't have to do all these the whole week, but it is a great way to fill up the meal plan fast. You might also want to get creative and think up new combinations and ideas. You can use the wheel of meal planning for this. To create this, just divide two circles into 12 parts, one bigger, one smaller, and then on one, write down a dozen different cuisines and on the smaller one, proteins and mains. All you need to do is print, cut, laminate and spin. There are endless possibilities and you will be surprised how many new combos you can create from the same old ingredients. 
The idea of this wheel is to try all the combinations, not only pick and choose. If you can't figure out a certain combo, go to a recipe website or to Google and use the keywords. Chances are you will find a dish because Google has everything. You can also try Pinterest for more inspiration. Try at least one new recipe a month. Even if it doesn't turn out perfect, you had a change. Now is the time to fill in the gaps. First, look for discounted items. Try to include some dishes using these items. This will bring down your overall cost and that saving can go towards buying some prepared mains or sides for those days when you're busy or running late. Of course, you can also predetermine what you will be buying instead of cooking on any particular day. I like ordering in over the weekend as that's when we film. This gives structure to my busy weekends. Complete your list for the week by seeing what is available and plan on the go at the store. Since you can't really go online and start looking for recipes at the store, go for recipes you are familiar with and know the ingredients needed. By the time you finish shopping, most meals should be shopped for. If necessary, take a second round of the store. Always try to use the same ingredients more than once. There might be one or two meals that are still undecided. Those can be covered with takeaway and leftovers or by using staples from the pantry. All right, back home with your groceries. I take a few minutes to update my list and make any changes needed. For example, I wanted to do tacos this week, but the shelves were not available. So I need to swap that to another week. Once everything is sorted, transfer it to your planner. Make sure you spread them out in a way that isn't repetitive. Although I had to cancel tacos for this week, I'm going ahead with the taco bowls. I make one portion with chicken and another with this meatless option. When it's time to serve, it's easy because all the other ingredients are the same. Keep meals simple on busy weekdays. If you're often out or stressed with time, one way is to write down how long you have on that day to prepare a meal. You can plan based on time available. You can put the meal plan up in a visible spot. You can have a first home starts cooking system if you have others to share your cooking responsibilities with. This plan helps anyone who is at home to get started. It only takes about five minutes each week and saves so much time and you will not begin getting stressed two hours before each meal. So now I'm making paneer curry for lunch today. I have some homemade paneer here, which is set in a spring foam container. And I also have potatoes, button mushrooms, and baby peas. I'm using these frozen curry cubes that I make fortnightly. Everyone knows they have to accommodate others, but they also know their favorites will be served soon. My son doesn't like paneer curry, but he will eat it knowing he will get his choice soon. I'm going to prep two versions of tuna mayo. I'm doing one with tuna and the other is a vegetarian version using chickpeas. Mm -hmm. 
This is a vegan creamy dressing that I'll be using for the chickpeas. And these will be great for sandwiches. I personally always follow a meal plan because it helps me cater for our variety of preferences as well as dietary preferences. I prep based on my meal plan and allow for everyone to create their own combinations. It's easier than little old me trying to please everyone. I haven't made chicken noodle soup in a long time. This recipe has a light clear soup, no cream added, and I use fettuccine as the noodle. While you may currently be using one or two of these styles of meal planning, try this meal planning system that combines all types of meal planning in a complete system that works every single week. It's stress-free, it'll help keep your weekly budget in control, and the turnover in the refrigerator and pantry is quick, no wastage, plus everyone's preferences are acknowledged. And that's how I keep my week organized, so my family gets tasty, healthy meals on time, even when I'm occupied. By following a meal planning system, you would have set yourself up for a successful week ahead every single week. I'm personally all for this system, and I hope you will give it a try. Let me know in the comments if you use this system, and I will leave you a step-by-step -step guide of this plan in the description box below. Until the next video, this is Ravina saying, Happy Homemaking!